So far we have downloaded and installed Hive binaries on our single node cluster and also we have set up a database using Postgres uh, as part of the Docker container. Let's first configure Hive Metastore and then initialize schema for Hive Metastore using Postgres. We will validate whether Hive is set up properly or not as part of the subsequent topic. To configure Hive Metastore using Postgres, we have to create this file. You can actually copy this path. If you go to the terminal and then say ls-ltr and paste that path, you might not see the file at all. If you actually say ls-ltr on opt hive conf, you can see a few templates here. You have files such as hive default.xml, hivexec, llapp, uh, cli, llapp, daemon, so and so forth. In this case, we are interested in creating a new file called as hivesite.xml that will contain the details related to connecting to the Metastore database that is uh, set up on part of Postgres. In this case, I just have to say vi, paste the path, it will create the file. Now, as part of this file, we should be able to copy paste these uh, XML contents. Let me copy, then paste. Now let's review all the properties. Whenever you want to connect to a database, we need the server on which the database is running, the port number on which the database is running, database name, username and password. These five information is very, very important. And also to connect to the database, either we have to use ODBC or JDBC. If you are using JDBC, we need to have something called as JDBC jar file. As part of Hive libraries, the jar file is already available. If I review the opt hive lib location, there are a couple of jar files related to Postgres. Let me say grep Postgres you should be able to see the uh, jar files here. So this is the one which contain uh, the JDBC drivers. Using that, we should be able to connect to Metastore through Hive. Now we can review the properties uh, in the hivesite.xml as part of uh, the name JavaX JDO option connection URL. We are specifying JDBC URL. The JDBC URL requires the host and port on which database is running and also the database name. In our case, we want to use database by name Metastore. We are using localhost because our database is running on Docker container using 5432 port, which is bound to the host on 6432. That's why we are specifying localhost 6432. In the real world, many times the databases will be set up outside the server completely and hence you will not be seeing localhost like this. The IP address or DNS alias might be completely different than what you are seeing here. You have to get the port number from the DBS and you have to use that port number. You need to ensure this database is already set up on the Postgres that is running on this host and port number. Now, the second property is nothing but connection driver name. This is standard one with respect to JDBC Postgres driver. Then connection username. In our case, we have set up a user by name Hive. We have granted everything on Metastore to Hive and hence we are specifying Hive as connection username. When it comes to password, typically we encrypt and specify the encrypted password. In our case, we are just setting up a single node cluster for our development purpose, uh, which is owned by us, and hence I am actually specifying the password in readable format. Our password for a Hive user is nothing but ITVST, and hence it is specified here. That's it with respect to HiveSide.xml. We might have to add few more things at a later point in time, but for now, we are good to go. We can come out of this. To just validate whether this is enough, I am running a command called as Hive. It is not just enough, it will fail. The reason why it is failing is because it is uh, having a conflicting jar file. The jar file name is nothing but uh, gova19.o.jar. We need to copy the later version of Gova from uh, Hadoop HDFS libraries into this one. First, let's validate this location. I'm copying this uh, path and then saying ls-ltr and pasting that path. We have that file. We should be able to delete this. In your case, you might have file with a different name for whatever reason. If ls-ltr doesn't return, what you can do is you can just say ls-ltr. Then instead of specifying the complete path, you can just say guava star dot jar like this. Then you will come to know all the guava jar files from that location. Let me remove this uh, jar file. Let's make sure that we have uh, guava jar file in uh, HDFS uh, jars. For that, we first let's run LSF and LTR like this. As we have this jar file, we should be able to copy this into this location. We can use this cp command to take care of the copy. It will take care of copying the guava 27org into this location. If you do not find this file, make sure you run guava star.jar with this path. And then whatever file you have, you can copy that. Now, 
you can actually try hives still it will not work the reason why it uh, doesn't work is because we have to initialize the schema without initializing the schema the required tables will not be created in hive meta store and hence it will not work however it will throw a different error than what we have seen earlier earlier we have seen this uh, no such method error now we might see a different error it might be related to hive meta store let's wait until uh, the error is thrown then we will take it further it actually started without throwing any error however if you say show databases to list the databases as metastore is not initialized yet it is actually saying unable to instantiate the tables are not there yet to take care of this issue we can come out of this then we should be able to run this command it will take care of initializing the postgres database by name metastore it will use the information from hiveset.xml it will take care of creating all the tables required to actually manage the hive metastore you can see a couple of success messages here it says initialization script completed and also schema tool completed if you don't see success messages but see errors you have to troubleshoot and fix those errors and then take it further to make sure we understand what is happening internally what we can do is we can actually connect to metastore database using this command now we are in the metastore database earlier when we ran backward slash d in this metastore database we haven't seen any relations or tables because at the time we haven't created any tables after initializing the schema by running the command which is shown here now you can see the tables that are created here these are the tables which will have the details related to hive tables which we are going to create as part of hive or spark sql at a later point in time these are nothing but metadata tables metastore is nothing but the metadata of the hive tables these tables will contain the hive tables metadata it is termed as metastore as a standard now we should be able to come out of this by saying backward slash q uh, this is how you should be able to take care of uh, setting up the uh, database using postgres to maintain your hive meta store so far we have downloaded and installed hive binaries then we have set up a database using postgres once the database is set up we have configured hive to use that database by specifying the relevant properties as part of hive.xml after that we have initialized the schema and made sure that all the tables are created as part of the meta store now we should be able to launch hive and create a tables to make sure that the hive databases and tables can be created using uh, this setup let's get into those details as part of the next topic